Because microbes are all around us, it is very important to follow a set of procedures known as aseptic technique to lessen the chances of contamination. When working with disease-causing microbes, a biosafety cabinet will both protect the researcher from exposure as well as prevent contamination. Even without fancy equipment, it is possible by using aseptic technique to prevent contamination of materials. Most often, bacteria can be moved from one place to another using an instrument known as a loop. Traditionally, a loop is made of metal with a wire handle and a thin wire ending in a circle. Prior to use, this can be sterilized by holding the wire in the flame of a Bunsen burner until the wire turns red hot. In some labs where a flame is no longer used for safety reasons, an electric heater is used to flame the loop. In our lab, as in many clinical laboratories, we use plastic disposable loops. These come pre-sterilized from the manufacturer and must be carefully removed from the packaging individually. The most common manipulation of microbes involves moving them from a culture tube to some other location, and that will be demonstrated for you now. Let's look at this again to highlight some of the steps in the process. First, hold your tube securely in the palm of your hand at a comfortable angle. Holding the tube at an angle minimizes the size of the tube opening as seen from above, the directions that microbes in the air would drift from. Hold your loop in your other hand as shown, roughly the way you might hold a pencil. This leaves the little fingers of that hand free you should use those to hold the cap of the tube. Never put your cap down on the work surface. Unscrew a screw cap tube by rotating the tube itself. A push cap or cotton plug can be simply pulled off. Work quickly and promptly replace the cover of the tube once you have removed some bacteria. After all, the culture tube you are removing bacteria from is what most needs to be kept free from contamination. You can then place the bacteria on your loop where you want them. If the destination is another tube, use the same procedure, opening the second tube after you have closed the original. You may also be inoculating a plate or preparing a slide for microscopy. By using aseptic technique, using sterile equipment and minimizing exposure of culture media, it should be possible to work with cultures without contamination.